unmistakable sizzle of meat on the grill. The real meat and the beyond meat. We have our Beyond Burger over here, and we have our Beef Burger over here. Once you dress them up, it's impossible to tell the difference. At this Bear Burger restaurant in Manhattan, burgers made from plant protein make up a meaty portion of sales. The response has been great. Uh, it's been so great, in fact, that our, our menu is now 50% vegan. Cheers. For first-timers, it takes a little getting used to. A little smoky. It's like pristine. And very crispy, yeah. But it doesn't taste like a, a real It doesn't taste like a burger at all. Investors, though, had no trouble taking their first bite. Beyond Meat's beefy IPO soared 160% on its first day of trading on May 2nd, the best IPO jump of a major U.S. company since the financial crisis. Analysts believe it's part of a veggie revolution that is just getting started. If it follows the same path that the plant-based beverage market uh, followed, you'd see it growing from roughly $13 billion, uh, $14 billion today up to potentially over $40 billion over the next decade. While Beyond Meat is not yet profitable, its revenues are up more than 130% in each of the past three years, and it's expanding into new product categories like meatless sausage. It's not just vegans and vegetarians that are interested in this. In fact, 93% of the people that are putting the Beyond Burger in their cart at the nation's largest grocer are also putting animal protein in their cart. It's a tremendous sign that we're able to uh, grow the business. Thank you very much. Now, the Beyond Burger, it does have some competition, mainly from this one, which is the Impossible Burger from Impossible Foods. That's already on the menu at Burger King, which is rolling out the Impossible Whopper. McDonald's is also selling a meatless burger in Germany made by Nestle, and Tyson Foods, one of the world's biggest meat producers, is also set to launch a fake meat. Well, they both smell like meat. As for my first bite, well, it felt like eating a burger, just a little less beefy. Well, I quite like them. They're not exactly like meat, uh, but they are something interesting. And I do think this might be a taste of things to come. Claire Sebastian, CNN, New York.